didn't even know she could cook. And I, I certainly didn't know she could bake. Cook. All of a sudden, we had something happen. Uh, our <laughs> Chef Richard Chin got sick today and couldn't make it. So this is your super secret <laughs> It's not really recipe. that secret. Okay, so okay. everybody loves them a little chocolate chip cookies, right? Love it. Okay. Love it. So here's my little spin on the chocolate chip cookies. If you make just the typical recipe that's on the back of the bag or whatever, it's, t it's one cup of butter. But instead, here's my twist. Okay. Half a cup of butter and half a cup of butter flavored Crisco, okay? Really? Why, you ask? Well, I'm, because it makes it... I was about to ask you why. Well, it makes it... You know how when you make them sometimes, they get really flat and yeah. oozy? I don't like flat I don't oozy. like flat and oozy. So okay. the butter flavored Crisco kind of helps with that. So that's okay. my thing. So that's so, going to go That's gonna go on for a little bit. What right. do I need to do? I need you to combine your flour. Just regular flour. Nothing yeah. special, right? Right. Just regular flour. And then um, add your baking soda. This is baking soda. Baking soda. I measured it out for you, buddy. Hey, good, good. And a little salt. And you know, I was joking, but yeah, that's one of the things yeah. that a lot of people forget. There is a little, or guys forget. You do put a little, like, you kind of put salt. salt in every, everything, I really. I think you should. Just a little bit. All right. All right. So then to the butter, after you've creamed your butter. Okay. You just add your sugar. You add some white sugar. And then you add a little brown sugar. Is that, that, that to me, that's a secret. I love me some brown sugar. You do? I do. I love Is brown sugar. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So you, and, and make sure it's firmly packed brown sugar, Justice. Oh, okay. You want it to be firmly packed. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is a disaster. Your prowess you. is really showing off. Now. I know. Nice work. I know. You're impressed. Okay, okay, so I've done this. So mix that up together. And I always, I don't know if this is the, the truth to it, but I think that you have to do this so you don't get like a clump of the salt and a clump of right, the... Right, you don't want that. Uh, it's just my theory, so I don't know if that's the, the truth. Okay. okay, so then after this is nice and fluffy, you add a couple of eggs, you add a little vanilla, and then you mix that puppy up. Now, where did you where did you dig out your recipe? Well, you know, I just remember it. I don't. I just know it from. You my just head. go with it because you're you're uh, you're just a baker. Yeah, I mean, I, I do kind of bake a little bit. Okay, so now that we've okay. stirred that up, you want to add this to the butter mixture. Just okay. add it slowly because if you don't add it slowly, Justice, it will go up in your face. All right. Honey, come on. Dear. Well, you said slowly. Well, not that slow, boo. All right, okay, here we go. How about this? All right, so we got this going. Now, anybody knows the way to my heart, and my wife knows this, is just chocolate and peanut butter. I'm a very simple man. Yes, you are indeed. So, in, uh, <laughs> Thanks, one, <Megan. laughs> one, of, one of my changes to this recipe is to add both chocolate chips and peanut butter chips. Yeah, that's a solid, so you, that's a solid you can, play. You, you want to mix uh -oh. it up a little bit more, but you know what? For TV sake, let's just throw those things in there. All right. I think our KitchenAid thing is about to is Well, that's what it possessed. does. You can lock it. <laughs> you want to lock it? All right. So then after you are done mixing all that together, you're going to get your little mixture. Now, here's the real key and secret, and this can help you with your kiddos. Get one of these cookie scoops instead of the spoons, and then you get a consistent size for your cookies because I like to put things right, to be. Get I'm gonna, that on lock down there. I'm going to take care of that. So you want your all your cookies to be the same size. That's really important to me, okay? Okay. So you stick those in the oven. For are you, about 10 are you minutes. Saying you're anal retentive. You want everything. No, the same no, time, huh? heavens no. I would never okay. be that way. Okay. Stick them in the oven for 10 minutes. Let them, and then when you take them out of the oven, let them cool before you take them off the baking sheet. Okay. okay. And then they'll set, and then you can eat them. And, and now here's my little addition to this. Oh. Um, that I will share with you. Luckily, after the break, it makes the cookie experience so much. Oh, better. And delicious. It has nothing to do with cooking. It's how you eat it. Okay, excellent. That is coming up next. Stay tuned for headlines and the the completion of this fabulous recipe. Ta-da. <laughs>